Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are doing fine and you are enjoying math sessions. So continuing with our series. Today we are going to discuss principal nth root of a positive and a negative number. Okay, so nth root. First of all, let us try and understand what does nth mean. Nth, right? When we say nth is nothing but. So when you write first, you write, how do you express it? You write 1 and then you write st as a superscript. So similarly, let us say I have to say 8, so I will write 8 and th, right? So n stands for a positive integer and th stands for that position. For example, first position, second, third, fifth, ninth, 99th, hundredth, like that, okay? So nth, we pronounce it nth. Now, root of a positive and a negative number, we have to understand. Now, let us say n is a positive integer and a is a real number examples of real number you know and that two positive real numbers we are talking about so examples are 2 2.5 3.33 root 2 right and so on and so forth there are infinitely many positive real numbers now examples of positive integer n is let's say 1 2 3 99 1 million whatever right so these are all integers now we are talking about nth root of a number okay so nth root of a we have taken a let us say that nth root is defined or let us say the value is x then how do we define nth root very simple what do we say is what should be the power on x so that uh you know or let's say uh, if i raise x to the power n then i must get a that's what is called nth root so x here becomes the nth root nth root that means if you raise x to power n, you will get a. Okay, that's what here it has been explained, isn't it? So, nth root of any positive number is another number. What kind of a number? Such that if that nth root, if you raise it to power n, you will get the desired number or let's say the number for which you were trying to find the roots out. I, I know, you know, just by saying in words, it will be very difficult to understand but we'll sooner take examples as well also please remember when x is the nth root of a we express s x as a to the power 1 by n okay if again so we'll take examples it will become much clearer so right now you understand if x is nth root of a that is x to the power n is a then x can be represented as a to the power 1 upon n so if you see the powers are getting reciprocated, isn't it? So whatever was power on x on a, it is one upon that n, isn't it? Now this is this particular value is called nth root of a, and it is expressed also as like this, right? So you simply take a root sign like this and you write a. If it is a square root, then you don't need to write anything n over here. So if you see not usually the standard or the process is like this but when n is 2 you don't need to write 2 over there you can simply write root of a so this is popularly known as root of a third root of 64 for example if you see i have taken third root of 64 is nothing but 4 why because if i raise 4 to the power 3 you will get 64 so hence hence third root of 64 is 4 okay now, fourth root of 81. What is fourth root of 81? So, what should be that value which, when raised to power 4, will give me 81? And that value is simply 3. Isn't it? That value is simply 3. So, this is if you raise 3 to the power 4, you will get 81. So, hence we say fourth root of 81 is 3. Okay. Similar. So, 3 is as I have written here 3 is a fourth root of 81. Why? Because if you raise 3 to the power 4, you will get 81. Okay. Now, similarly, another example. Third root of 8 is 2. And 10th root of 1024 is 2. Again, right? Why? Because 2 to the power 10 is going to be 1024. So, hence, 10th root of 1024 is equal to 2. Okay. Now, what happens when A is less than 0, guys? So, let us see that. A is less than 0 means A is a negative number. Now, there is a problem. The problem is we can't have, uh, we can't have even 
numbered root of a negative number what do i mean so i can't have second root fourth root sixth root eighth root like that of a negative number that's not defined in mathematics in the set of real numbers so for example if i ask you what is second root of minus 4 so by definition of second root is what x should i raise as to power 2 to get minus 4 now x in x square is nothing but x into x 2 times is equal to minus 4 that's what so you have to find out of x which when multiplied by x itself will get you minus 4 but tell me x can be either negative or positive so a negative when multiplied by negative will be positive and a positive when multiplied by positive will also be positive guys there will be no case where you multiply two positive numbers and you get a negative number similarly you cannot have two negative numbers when multiplied you will get negative number you understood so hence there is a problem we don't know what x should be there which when multiplied will yield minus 4 so hence second root of minus 4 is not defined in real numbers yes it is definitely defined in a set of numbers called imaginary numbers which is again a subset of complex numbers which you'll study later on similarly fourth root of anything will not be defined fourth root of negative number not anything fourth root of let us say minus 16 now if it be it, it were 16 then you know fourth root of 16 is 2 why fourth root of fourth root of 16 is very clearly 2 why because 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 2 to the power 4 that is is 16 but tell me guys you are multiplying 4x is so 4x let's say fourth root of minus 16 is let us say x so that means you multiply x four times to get minus 16 now tell me x these are all same isn't it all are same values so either all of them will be negative or all will be positive now there are four positive numbers multiplied together getting you negative not possible and four negative numbers getting you negative again is not possible so hence my friends x doesn't exist in real number set right now so hence likewise you cannot have sixth root of negative number eighth root of negative some number why because the moment it is even numbered you will never get product of even number as in even number number of uh, numbers or that means what i mean is four four numbers four same numbers six same numbers eight same numbers ten and so on and so forth if ten same numbers are multiplied you will never get a negative number that's what i'm trying to explain so how do i define uh, even number root of negative number in real numbers it's not defined but definitely n can be odd isn't it n can definitely be odd so if n is odd then nth root of any negative number is nothing but take the minus sign out and find the nth root of mod of a what is mod mod is nothing but absolute value of a so example has been taken let us say you have to find out third root of minus 27 so what do you need to do take the minus sign out and find the absolute value of 27 and find the third root of that mod 20 minus 27 so the mod of minus 27 is simply 27 because mod is always positive third root of 27 is 3 minus sign was there so hence third root is minus 3 why now you can justify also minus 3 multiplied by it itself 3 thrice you'll get minus 27 similarly what is fifth root of minus 32 so once again you take the minus sign out then take mod of minus 32 take the fifth root and you will get minus fifth root of 32 which is minus 2 why because minus 2 to the power 32 to, minus 2 to the power 5 is minus 32 just for uh, you know another example and another example could be let us say third root of negative minus 125 okay so what do we do you simply take out the minus sign then find the mod of 125 that is absolute value and find the third root of mod of 125 so what is this value minus 5 isn't it so that's how so and you also understood that odd numbered numbered root of a negative number negative number is also negative so you will not get a positive nth root of a negative number so please keep these things in mind it will be useful in many many applications of mathematics thank you